celebrities mock President Donald Trump on President's Day, have fun till feds show up. U.S. President Donald Trump has been mercilessly trolled on President's Day. Celebrities took to Twitter to sarcastically shout out to their commander-in-chief. Actor Jeffrey Wright tweeted, In honor of President's Day, lie to everyone you meet and form your own criminal syndicate with the fame. Have fun till the feds show up. While activist, Cecile Richards, said she will be devoting her President's Day to making sure in 2020 we get a new one. George Tucky, famous for his role in Star Trek, retweeted Trump and said, You sound upset, Donald. Guess you must have been told more bad news about the investigation. Happy President's Day. Rhea Butcher, a stand-up comic, added, I saw a sign that said Happy President's Day and I have never laughed so hard. Comedian, Chelsea Handler, said, On President's Day, I'd like to thank the Trump family for my awakening. It drove me to see a psychiatrist, unwrap my own personal injuries, write a book, and film a documentary on white privilege. I am awake because of this presidency, and I choose to stay that way. The former U.S. Secretary of Labor, Robert Reich, accused Trump of hijacking the holiday and said he defies the Constitution, refuses to be president of all the people and continuously degrades, denigrates, and demodies the American presidency. Other social media users got pound sign Marilardis trending on Twitter, which fat shames the president. People shared pictures of Trump's backside while he's captured playing tennis and getting into a plane. One tweeted the photo with the caption, Hey pound sign Marilardis I can see your tidy witty panty line. While another said, I'm thrilled that pound sign Marilardis went viral yesterday and was soon the number one top trending hashtag. However, I'm sorry that some saw it as fat shaming. Where and when I grew up, a uh, Lardis was any lazy person who sits on their ass. So I apologize to anyone who took offense except Trump. Trump spent the day at the International Golf Club at West Palm Beach in Florida. However, activists in Washington, Chicago and other cities are using the federal holiday to protest against Trump's declaration of a national emergency to build a border wall. The annual celebration was originally intended to honor George Washington's February 22nd birthday. The holiday is held every year on the third Monday of February.